I'm not hurting you, okay? She has a little punctum there, which is a little opening, which we're gonna take off because I think if we don't take that off, there's a chance it could come back more likely. You've had this for a little while now, huh? Yes. I'm trying to remember how long. And she always tells people tell people to squeeze her for her. How many people have actually done that for you? Some people love it. Yeah, you. What happened? There's some people like so. You'll just ask them even though they you don't know whether they're gonna like it or not. No, actually, okay. I've had like I had a friend in the in the swim pool once say, "Hey, let me get that for you." Like, oh, oh, they got. You mean they wanted to just they just did that in the yeah, pool? Yeah. Yeah. What? But my spouse hates doing it. My wife, I'm married to. Uh -huh. My wife hates uh -huh. doing it, and I tell her, "Babe, come on, I'm gonna take a take a hot hot shower. Just do that for me." And she's like, that is the girl that I have no way. She, she doesn't want to hurt you. I go, just, oh. I don't know. Oh, she doesn't want to hurt you. No. Well, that's why. Well, I don't like it there. I know it's there. So I'm going to squeeze you a little bit. I'm pushing on her. It's smaller than I, you know, I think it is. Well, let's see. Because I said it was kind of bigger than I thought, but now I see this edge. So I definitely think it's been squeezed. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been probably it's okay. It's been squished before, and it's the, in the back. Our, our skin on our back is thick, so that's why too. It's not like pushed against it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's been about a month or so since. Oh, okay, well, not anymore. Okay, just underneath there. I'll try to get it out of here. Can I try to get out of a smart? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I mean, this well. Can't... This isn't any, any worse than going to the dentist. That's, yeah. That's well, hey, don't compare me to the dentist. <laughs> that's nobody wants to do that. Yeah. I think that's worse sometimes. It is. Um. No, I think that we'll be able to get this out. I just want to try to. I think it's one that's going to be not like a perfect circle, and sometimes it's hard to find it. They like dive down a little bit, try to evade us. See this scar okay. tissue here. Sorry, yeah, I'm pushing against you. I don't know. No, you're good. I'm just trying to bring more. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get to that. How am I going to squeeze that up more? I'm just going to push against you again. Okay. Let me see it. Keep your brush on. I'm tough. <laughs> you are tough. <laughs> I gave birth to a child at home. You did? My firstborn, yes. Was it, were you planning on that? You were planning yes, on that though, right? Back okay. in the 70s, it was, it was, was it one of those water births too? You know no. how everybody did that for a while? Well, we tried, yeah, but it wasn't really bad, but. Okay. He weighed nine for a birth. Oh my gosh. Isn't that scary though? When it you was. find that out and you're like giving birth at home? That's a little scary. It was, it was traumatic, but I did it. Oh, you did it. So it was the next one, did you have it at the hospital? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that answers for me. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to do that again. Yeah, and I waited 10 years because I was so scared. Oh. Well, they, they gave me 300 stitches with no anesthesia. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Because I, I tore so bad. But why? This is the stuff that freaks me out. Oh, I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> but why? What? What? So, because you wanted a at home birth, and they you already knew that that might happen. Like, can't they take you to the hospital at that point and say, no, okay? No, it was too late. Hmm. And then I literally went That's down and pulled them out right. myself. What the I was, heck? Yeah, it's a crazy story. My my son uh, Bill is he's he says he was born in our kitchen, raised in a laundromat. <laughs> And now he's a radio producer. Huh. That's like his little like byline at that at the at the radio. Well, I don't know. <laughs> he tells friends. That would be cute. Yeah. You see how this is like um. I see. I'm trying to like scratch it all out. I'm glad I got this curette, but it's hard to see uh -huh. the whole thing. So I'm just taking my time. To, oh, look. See, that's nice. You got some of the sack wall. Cool. That's good. I'm trying to get it all out, obviously, and it's kind of like you're in this little cave, I guess I could say. I'm not hurting you, right? Not at all. Not at all. Okay, good. But I don't know. I think I have to extend the line a little bit, girls. I'm trying to see if I can avoid, avoid that. But I can't really see what's going on under there. Other than I still see there's stuff in there. But maybe if it comes out, I could have, like, 
that one just now. That's, oh, that's the mic. Look, look, look. Hey. Oh, Jeff is not that nice to me. Yeah. Can you decide how close he is? Have a nice day. That's my husband. What the heck? Oh, is it? He doesn't talk to me like that. Oh, we never talk to our spouses <laughs> no. like that. I just got a little dog and... You don't talk to any of us like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, they tell me I'm nicer to the dog than I am to them. Yeah. I go, well, because... Yeah, well, the dog doesn't talk back like yeah. the same way. Dog is they look at you in love all, all day, every day. <laughs> all right, girls, what am I gonna do here? Give me some answers. I think I can. I think I can get it out here, right? Look, I can see it. Here he is too. Come on. No wonder they always had a hard time trying to squeeze down. Yeah, it's like um. I don't know what I kind of analogy. You know, like a ant farm when you see like the ant farms that you have and oh, that's not a good analogy. Yeah. Like you could, be, I I imagine where it is. I kind of see that it's not straight. It kind of squiggles down here. Oh, it like it's like a J. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like looping downward kind of thing. Yeah. And so I I um. If I were to like really ensure that this is out, I would ha make a pretty big incision and it would be like it would be like it would be pretty long here and I, I don't think we can try to avoid that but obviously it just takes a little bit more right. patience to try to get all that out done I, but I do also it's like I'm at that edge where I'm like how much more is there here it's like a root like um, a root canal <laughs> getting deep into what it. is it like girls is there something like you can I'm running out of analogies from people. I think of like a tree, it has roots and it goes deeper and deeper. Yeah, well, it's, or like a bulb, it's like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a, it's you saw it, like I incised it here, but it was, went down this direction, because it's like kind of got smushed in that way, I think, because it it's been smushed a lot. <laughs> here, I, but it, what's nice about it, I will say, what keeps me going to do this is the fact that I see that the sack wall is actually, I can grab it for a good amount. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can try to get the whole thing out like this just by scratching it up and look, more of it's coming out. But I, if I can get the whole sack wall out of this tiny little opening. I know the girls sometimes say, just make a bigger opening. Hmm. <laughs> but how do I do that in this case? It's hard because it's deep. You know what um, I mean? Yeah. Like, how am I gonna do that? It, even if I make it wider, I probably still can't see back under there. So, the fact that it's actually scraping out well is a good thing, and then I think that I may be able to do it then, like this. So let's just get the rest of this out here. Just trimming a little bit of it here. I'm gonna like hold that little curette maybe and then I'll mm -hmm. back and forth here. Little thing to dab in there. But um so because I when I was pregnant the first time, I was obsessed with a baby story. Mm -hmm. Remember that it was like on Lifetime or TLC. Remember we watched it and everybody was having baby like water births back then? Mm -hmm. And it would freak you out. Like, did it freak, like, it freaked me out, but I kept watching it. I, I was like, watching those. I went to. What, actually, did it make you think you wanted to have one, though, Christy? Uh, would it think you? No, I, I thought. I maybe. always thought that I would have mine with, like, an epidural, like my children. But it didn't happen that way, actually. No. <laughs> it didn't. Yeah. Well, the last one didn't. Well, I thought that. I thought the first one did it. Oh, the first one you did have epidural? Yeah. I thought the for, first one was like, it was too late or something. No, for that's... all three of them. Um, you had them? Had and then just the last one? The really? last one. The last one, one popped out? Mm -hmm. It was too quick? <laughs> well, I scared. dilated really quickly. Like, they checked me and I wasn't dilated enough. And then they, was like and then they five, looked back again and, and they, they were like, oh. And I was like, she was coming out already. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
you mm-hmm. think that they were like not like they were kind of just like hanging out and they like they kind of were lazy to like put the epidural and they should have done it sooner i think when they or they just they, they thought you had more time Pitocin, i think they just underestimated how fast it was going to dilate like i was going to dilate but i'm like it's my fourth baby so yeah, they should. I, on I, the way, you should know that. They, they want to go fast. Yeah, because it, it did. They, the, 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 was it late at night? Uh, yeah, it was yeah, like, that might be yeah, it. Too. Was at night. Might it was at night, too. and uh, the nurse. Yeah, I think we did okay. Maybe. Yeah, because you know they did had no time. The doc See, came why in do you like guys this. Do this to me. Why? You guys already had your babies. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna you tell you. Like, we're gonna tell you yeah, all like, the terrible stories. Wait till your what looks like a catcher's mitt down there. No. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> I love saying that. Are you pregnant by chance? No, but we get we're really good birth control for her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes me I'm like freaking out about having kids now. <laughs> Let me do one last little bit like that. I think I got it all. I think so. It looks pretty good. Well, I have it. three boys. The last one was uh, left at my doorstep. I adopted a child. What? Like literally left at your doorstep. I no. always tell him that. Okay. Aww. That's kind of sweet, though. I bet he, I mean, it's a, obviously a love story. It's not yeah. like being making fun. It took anything. me four years. It took us four years to adopt him because he's uh, from Native. Uh huh. Native American. Oh, so because so you have to go it. through a different process and make yeah. sure they're they're okay with it. Right. Did you know him? Like, how did you? Yes, it was my it was my wife's um, stepdaughter's child. Oh, oh. And we Lovely. tried to we tried really hard to get the child back with the mom, but yeah, mom was couldn't and couldn't. Yeah. Can the mom is the mom still around? Yeah, she's just she's not with him. Yeah. <laughs> How old is the boy? Yeah. He's uh, twelve now. Oh. But we had him at six. We got him at six weeks. Oh, little guy. You know what? Some of my favorite stories, like I watch on the internet, are the ones where they send give you the adoption papers. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those like yes. yes. Those and then the ones that you're reunited with people like from like. Right. But they haven't seen their family for a long time and then they surprise them. Yeah. Now I get them all the time on on Every time I they see must... the dads, like the stepdads, when the, right. they start and reading they start... the adoption yes. papers, and to see these grown men like break down crying, right. oh. oh yeah. And they're usually like this gruff man, yes. like, yes. what is this thing? Yeah. And they're huge teddy bears. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, I feel pretty good. I remember mm-hmm. one time we yeah. were at an amusement park and he fed us. That's like to. He okay. told me, my son said, if I had the opportunity to go Sad. back to my real mom, I wouldn't take her. Oh, well, she, he's lucky that he ha- you know, that he has you guys, but it's also really nice that you're so open with him and he understand. you know, like, yeah. it's just a hard, it's a hard thing. You know, I have a, a, fr- a friend who is a reporter and she actually did this report. Did I ever tell you guys this? She did this report. She did a 23 and Me because she wanted to know about her her, oh, I I'm not going to be able to tell the story well, because I don't know if there's all the details, but it's so dramatic. Mm-hmm. She, um, she, she's gay, and she, I think she found out her, oh, I the story right. <laughs> uh, I think that she, her, her dad came out or something, mm-hmm. and she happened to do a 23 Me, and then she found out that she was adopted. That was how she found out she was adopted. Like, oh, she okay. didn't know. What? Is there a here? It was, I gotta tell you the story, but I'm, I think I'm messing up the story, but it's an amazing story. Like, she, she found out through, like, 23 Me, like, that she didn't match with, like, her, oh. her, her parents, like, they were a different ethnicity. And they never told her? They never told her. Oh, no, I don't think that's right, because my yes. son has a, a it sister. It was devastating to her. He has a sister that they're 11 months apart, and the woman that got the dog, the sister, um, has lied to her and told her that she's hers. <laughs> You know, even her, she's not I, Puerto Rican. I wonder how much that happens, like, these days, though. I, I wonder. Know. It's sad. But this 23 Me is really going to blow that out of the water for a lot of people. No, we were very honest with him, but we didn't tell him details until right. he was older. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, though. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask, because my dad adopted, uh-huh. so his wife has a son. The one in Florida? Yes. Uh-huh. And he's incarcerated right now. And uh-huh. the mom is not around, so they adopted her, uh, their, his grand, their, their grandson, basically. Uh-huh. And uh, my dad was just asking me, like, how do you tell, how does he tell him, him about his mom without lying? Yeah, him? you don't want to, that's the one thing I said. I think that you just have to be honest. I told him, I was like, I think you just kind of have to be honest with you him. Do. And, and that understand. Like she that's said, okay. though, like, 
they were honest from the beginning, but they didn't tell him details. Until yes, he got yeah, like exactly. Right. You don't have to paint her as the as a monster, but tell you know, like kind of. Well, because that is better in the long run, and they know that their love is yeah. not like it's not you know. Because he's also, questioning we now. We also gave him the opportunity to uh, decide for himself if oh, he ever wants nice to, to make choices. Yeah, yeah. See, that's my dad important. is like he's never. He's right. Oh, he's I like that right yeah, now. Yeah, I was so like that Someday too. when he's old, how old is he? Okay. He's only uh, five. He's oh like, yeah, he's so young, young right now. When he's like eighteen, or he might yeah. say differently. That's what I said. Yeah. And maybe the mom will have to turn his her life around. Yeah. You hope. <laughs> I even told my son, "Don't think you're gonna get mad at me and go look for your your." <laughs> Yeah. You wait till you're 18 and then you They can. won't do that. They know. <laughs> yeah. they, I don't think that happens. That doesn't really happen often, I would have to no. say, because they know they're loved and they know. Right. Yeah, because he's asking, like, did I come from your mom, from your tummy? Oh, his grandma. Right. So All like, right, we got it. I do think. It's all little pieces here. This my my boy told me once, he said, I know I came from your tummy. And I go, yeah, because 